hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video I'm gonna be showing you guys this easy simple summer look that you can wear every day it's an ideal everyday makeup look so if you're the kind of girl that likes to wear makeup every day then stay around for this video I will show you how I achieve this look and if you're not the kind of girl that doesn't like to wear makeup but is trying to branch out and wear makeup every day have an everyday look stick around as well and I'll show you how I achieve this look so the first thing that I'm going to do is my eyebrows. I've been going back and forth when doing my makeup on whether I should do my foundation first or my eyebrows first. And honestly, I feel like now I just do it depending on how I feel. And today I just want to do my brows first. I'm using the ABH. This is the brow pomade in the shade Ebony. And I'm just gonna draw some hair strokes and I already primed my face so we are good to go I like to draw hair strokes because it just looks more natural and then I just underline below the brow by following the natural brow line So I'm done working on the brows. I'm gonna go ahead and just set them with the ABH Clear Gel, Clear Brow Gel. And this just helps have them sit in position, you know, if you want your eyebrows to kind of stay on the whole day. This brow gel basically does that. It helps them stay the whole day. For foundation, I'm going to be using the Clinique Stay Matte Oil Free Foundation. You guys know I live for this foundation. This is in the shade Sienna. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply. Woo! I just, that just went in my eye. Holy crap. I really do not wanna put a lot of makeup because it's really hot outside. I'm just gonna go ahead and blend it in. Now I'm going to go ahead and highlight. I'm going to be using the MAC 24 hour smooth wear concealer and this is in the shade NC45 and I'm going to set off uh, the bottom of my eyes right here and I try not to put too much product because I want to go for a natural look. It's just not too overbearing. I'm going to go down the bridge of my nose. A little bit on my chin and slightly a little bit on my forehead just enough like that and I'm going to go ahead and start blending everything in That it's done now I'm going to go ahead and contour I'm gonna be using the Fenty Beauty Match stick and this is in the shade espresso so I'm gonna go ahead and go right into that I'm gonna put just a little bit and blend it in I'm just gonna put just a little stroke just like that and I'm going to use a big fluffy brush this is the Mophie and Jaclyn Hill collab brush this is the JH03 brush just going to slightly blend that in and I like to blend it in upwards same thing here just a little bit like that nothing too dramatic so I'm gonna pull my hair back I always do this and then just oh my hair feels soft I just washed it Okay, so now I'm also going to contour the sides of my nose. Just gonna go like that and like that. Now that I'm done contouring, I'm going to go ahead 
and set the highlighter with a uh, translucent powder. I'm gonna be using the Laura Mercier translucent powder to set that. Now we're gonna go ahead and start working on the eyes. I'm gonna be using the Juvia's Place palette, this face palette, and I'm gonna show you the colors or color that I'm gonna be using in that palette. And I'm also gonna use the ABH Norvina, I think that's how you pronounce it, ABH Norvina Collection palette. This is the Pro Pigment Palette Volume 1, and I'm going to also show you what I'm gonna be using in that palette. In the ABH palette, I'm gonna be using this to shades so this one and I think this one so these two this one and this one and so they're C5 and E5 those are the two shades that I'm going to be using and I'm going to use the shade the shade C5 which is this one right here that's what I'm going to use for the transition color and then I'll use the shade E5 for the outer corner color, the one that I'm gonna use inside the crease, that's what I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply a little bit more concealer on my lids. Each time I apply a transition color, I just always go down to the lid because if you spend more time above the crease, then you're gonna find yourself going in the lighter areas around the bra bone and you do not want that. You just wanna stay lower. Just try to stay low like this. And just blend in your colors. Using a Morphe fluffy brush and this is M200. This is my go-to blending brush. I really love it. I'm gonna go in with the same brush and apply the darker shade into the crease. That is E5. I feel like, now that I think about it, I don't know if this shade will be dark enough. Let me see. I think this shade is dark enough, but let me try out and see how I feel. we're just gonna work with it and I'm doing the same thing here I'm going to use the Juvia's Place palette and this is the Nubian 2 palette and I'm gonna use the shade Madagascar which is this very light brown shade right there I'm gonna use that for my lid area I'm gonna go ahead and apply some concealer right there. Now that I have all the colors set, I'm feeling a little vibrant. So I'm gonna go into the Nubian 2 palette by Jivia's Place and pick up Morocco, which is this orange shade. And I'm going to use this as, I'm gonna apply this on top of the transition color, just to add a little bit of spank and color pop. I'm gonna go ahead and put some glue on my lashes and then we're gonna work on the face while the lash glue sits in and then we'll come back to the eyes later. So let me pick up mascara. I'm using Lancome's Hypnos Drama Mascara. I love this mascara, it is life. Seriously, this mascara gives me all the feels. On my lower lash line, I'm going to use that shade that we use for the transition color and just apply that underneath my lower lash line and I'm gonna use a flat brush I'm actually gonna use the same brush that I used to do my brows it's a small angled brush this is the Morphe M215 brush I 
while we're waiting for the lash glue to sit in I'm gonna go ahead and set my entire look with powder I'm going to use the MAC mineralized skin finish powder and this is in the shade dark deepest this is my go-to powder I've used this powder ever since I started doing makeup it's the only powder I use it just works for me it does I just hate that my Mofi brushes shade a lot. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera, but it's really annoying that it, they do that. I don't know what to do to prevent them from doing it, but it's just one of those struggles that I deal with every time I apply makeup. I'm going to set the contour. I'm using the Patricia Bright and Makeup Revolution Collab Palette. This is a face palette called Dusk Till Dawn and I'm gonna be using this middle shade to set my contour. I'm going to use the Morphe 105 brush to set that. Now this particular shade is really pigmented so I try to take my time when I'm applying it and when I'm picking up product, I try to just dub a little bit. I'm gonna use the blush in there. It's a plum looking blush. It matches my eyes, so I'm just gonna go ahead and just use that. Just gonna apply just a little bit like that. Nothing over. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply a highlighter. This is by Stila, and it is a Heaven's Hue highlighter in the shade Bronze. I'm gonna go ahead and use the same brush that I used to apply my, my, I can't think. I'm gonna use the same brush that I used to apply blush and setting my contour to apply this highlighter. Now that I think about it, I never set my nose contour, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And I'm going to use uh, Jaclyn Hill and Mofi Collab brush. This is the JH09 brush, and I'm gonna go into the same product from Patricia's palette, and I'm using this fluffy brush to just go around my nose. I'm gonna use the same brush to highlight the tip of my nose. It's like right here. That. So I'm back, my lashes are on. I don't think I told you guys the style of lashes I'm wearing. These are Velux by Envy and they are in the style rose or gold. Really nice, I love them. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and apply lipstick. I'm gonna use a liquid lipstick because I seriously use a lot of liquid lipsticks. It doesn't even matter what season, I just they're just easy to put on. to go ahead and set the look with MAC Pepper and Prime setting spray. This almost feels like a full look, but I like it. It's just seriously so easy. Well guys, this is the final look. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Drop some comments below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.